So in this video, I'm mostly gonna focus on gaming. I wanna see if I can turn this phone into like a virtual gaming console. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, to get started with Samsung Dex, the easiest way is to hook it up to your PC. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my laptop. All I gotta do is grab my phone and hook it up to my laptop. And on my phone, I'll get a notification saying, do I wanna start Samsung Dex? I'll click yes, it'll open a link so that I can download the program on my PC. And then I'll get a pop-up notification on my phone saying, do I wanna start Samsung Dex? I'll click on start now and Samsung DeX will start almost right away. All right, so from here you can see that Samsung DeX looks exactly like a desktop. Everything is pretty familiar. You click on the app drawer and you'll see all your apps. You'll have access to all your apps. And like I said before, I'm gonna focus on gaming in this video, but you can do productivity stuff like answering emails, browsing the web and things like that. But let's go ahead and open up VirtualArch. I think that VirtualArch is the best application for virtual gaming because you got all the consoles all in one place. You can play everything from Nintendo, Super Nintendo, even up to the GameCube and PS1. And we're gonna open up Donkey Kong. Let's go ahead and see how that runs. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but there's a little bit of an input lag in the game. And it's not just in the game, it's also with other applications, like when I'm copying and pasting, when I'm typing, there is a slight delay. So I think using Samsung DeX on your PC is the easiest way to get started because you have your keyboard and the display and the mouse right there, but it's not the recommended way to use it. I think the best way to use Samsung DeX is either with your TV or with a monitor. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to my BenQ monitor. And this monitor is awesome because it has a USB Type-C input. All you gotta do is plug it in and it should work. But if you hook it up to the TV, you're gonna need the right cable. You're gonna need a USB Type-C to HDMI cable. And if you hook it up to a monitor, well, that depends on what inputs your monitor has. If your monitor only has HDMI, then you're gonna have to use that same cable, USB Type-C to HDMI. But if you have a monitor with a USB Type-C input, then you can use the same cable that came with your Galaxy phone, and that's pretty convenient. So that's what I'm using right now. So when I hook up the phone to the monitor with the USB Type-C, I'm gonna get that same notification that says, do I wanna start Samsung DeX? I'll click Start Now. Within a few seconds, Samsung DeX will start. And I'm going to get the same desktop experience that I showed you before. The only difference is that I'm going to have to use my own keyboard and mouse. I can use my phone as a keyboard and I can use it as a trackpad also, but that's a really awkward experience. You're better off getting a wireless keyboard or a mouse. Just like I did on my PC, I'm going to go ahead and start VirtualArch and hopefully this is a better experience. So after a few weeks of playing with Samsung DeX on my Galaxy X20, I can say that it does feel like a personal computer. It delivers on that desktop experience and it's my phone as a computer. It works. Uh, I can do a lot of things with it. But uh, the main question right now everyone's going to ask in the comments is why? Why would you use this as your desktop replacement or your laptop or could you use it as a replacement? You could. I don't know why would you. If you already have that stuff, you already have a MacBook, a laptop, a Chromebook, stick with that. 
there are some people out there that they want to be very minimalistic. They only want to use their phone as their primary device and their only device. They don't want to carry around a laptop or an extra camera. They want their phone to be the all-in-one package. And I'd say the Galaxy S20 pretty much delivers on that. And because of that 12 gigabytes of RAM, I was able to multitask pretty easily. I was able to open up Instagram on one tab. I was able to web browse and have YouTube or Spotify running in the background and there was no lag. So overall, it was a pretty good experience, but I definitely would not trade it for my laptop. I love my laptop, especially my gaming laptop, being able to play uh, Steam games and uh, my whole library on Steam. I love that. I love my gaming laptop. I would not trade that for a phone anytime soon. So let's wrap this up. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to leave a comment. I try to answer you guys. Even if you guys try and troll me, I do answer those comments. And I'll hit that subscribe button. And if you guys care about social media, Instagram or Twitter, if you care about it, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at TechGeekNelson.